Hi, my name is Chris Holton Jablonski, and it is my great joy and my deep honor to serve you as your minister. These are the words of A. Powell Davies, a teacher and preacher, a minister, activist, and a bit of a prophet. He writes, the world we know is passing. All things grow strange. All but the stout heart's courage. All but the undiminished luster of an ancient dream, which we shall dream again as people have dreamed before us. Pilgrims forever in a world forever new. And what we loved and lost, we lose to find how great a thing is loving and the power of it to make a dream come true. For us, there is no haven of refuge. For us, there is the wilderness, wild and trackless, where we shall build a road and sing a song. But after us, there is a promised land, strong from our sorrows and shining from our joys, our gift to those who follow us along the road we build. One of the most beautiful things to me about these words is that he wrote them as he was doing precisely this. He only lived to the age of 55, but in his short life, he served our church, All Souls, in Washington, D.C., and was a tireless advocate and agitator for civil rights. He was a writer and a theologian, a trailblazer in a complex time. And through his living, through his example, he embodied this idea, this holy act of paving the way for those who will come after. And this is so much of our work here together. Responding to this moment, building a community of love and trust, accountability and vision here in this complex time, both for all of us to enjoy, to help nourish and grow deep roots and stretch upwards and outwards. We build this beautiful and complex organism of First Church for all of us, for one another. And we build it for the generations who will follow. We build it because it matters that we leave the world more just and more loving, more beautiful and more whole. It matters now more than ever that we do not lose hope, but that we strengthen and bolster what is good and true in this broken and befuddling world. Even in this challenging time, we have all we need right here. This is All That You Need Lies Within You by Angela Herrera. Consider this an invitation to you. Yes, you. With all your happiness and your burdens, your hopes and regrets, an invitation if you feel good today and an invitation if you do not. If you are aching and there are so many ways to ache, Maybe your heart is heavy or hardened. Maybe it's troubled and peace can take up residence in only a small corner, only on the edge with all that's going on in the world and in your life. Nimodo, it doesn't matter. All that you need for a deep and comforting peace to grow lies within you. Once it is in your heart, let it spread to your life. Let it pour from your life into the world. And once it is in the world, let it shine upon all beings. I love this, especially the last bit. Comforting peace, taking root and spreading into our lives, into this waiting world. Friends, this is the way. This is the moment. Now more than ever, this is needed. Right here in this moment, 
in this time, in these bodies, these lives, we have all we need to blaze this trail. We have all we need to make of our lives beacons of hope, examples of love, foundations for justice, and seeds of peace. So much love to you all. Amen.